$6,399,818. Late one evening in 1993, Judy Manis purchased $20 worth of Virginia State lottery tickets at a 7-Eleven in Richmond. That night, when the numbers came in, Judy and her husband, Frank, were the only winners. To win, Judy had to match six out of six numbers between 1 and 44. That may sound easy enough, but when you consider all the possible sets of numbers, changing just one number at a time, you'll find 7,059,052 different combinations. The odds against winning them are 7,059,051 to 1. Frank and Judy beat the odds. Over five years before they won, they purchased maybe two or three thousand dollars worth of tickets, whatever they could afford to lose that week. I can guarantee you that you'll never win the lottery unless you have a ticket in your pocket. Someone might buy a, a lottery ticket, which has a very poor chance of paying off, and they might win. Well, that would be a bad decision with a good outcome. Ron Howard of Menlo Park, California, is a professional decision theorist. He helps people and corporations learn how to make better decisions. The fundamental distinction that you have to make is between the quality of the decision and the quality of the outcome or consequences that follow from it. By buying 20 tickets, Judy tried to improve her odds of winning. Even though she won, buying a lot of tickets didn't help much. Buy one ticket in 7 million chances, and you have a 99.99999% chance of losing. By 20, and your chance of losing is 99.99972%. At a dollar each, you would have to buy 3.5 million different tickets to have almost a 50-50 chance of winning. The numbers are just too big to carry in your mind. So instead of figuring the odds, people trust in luck.